So my name is Andrew Liberty. I am the assistant baseball coach here at CCU. I came from uh, Boca Raton, Florida, gravitated towards baseball, and found myself at Nova Southeastern playing collegiate baseball, which is a uh, Division II program down in South Florida. And um, so right about the time I was finishing up my senior year, I got a call from um, Coach Musarino, who was the head coach here, and he offered me uh, the grad assistant spot, and I took it immediately and made my way out here. How would you describe your daily life? Yeah, the day-to-day -day of just a baseball coach in general is not necessarily glamorous, but it's fun and it's it's kind of sporadic. The fall season to spring seasons are, are way different, and uh, in the fall it's more practice time, development time, and then um, when you get into the spring it's obviously competing against other teams, so we're game planning, we're game prepping early in the week, and then we plan practices out for the week, see what we need to work on, see what we need to get better at, um, and then go from there. How does faith play a role in your team dynamic? One thing that I think makes CCU different than most is that you have that aspect of Christian leadership on the field and off the field. So we get to incorporate faith and we get to follow like Jesus' leadership and he has obviously so many different examples of phenomenal leadership throughout the Bible. So we get to kind of piggyback off that and then um, kind of tie it into our teammates and, and the guys that we are surrounded with every day. Would you say baseball is your ministry? Yeah, I would. I, I think I'm fortunate in knowing that that's the platform that I get. I think it's hard when you're in a day-to-day -day, nine to five and you don't know where your platform is and you don't know where you're gonna be able to impact somebody. But I, I get 35 kids every single day that, that I get to impact through the, the love of baseball, which is phenomenal. So we get to do that together on the field and off the field, and I've definitely been blessed with a pretty cool platform that I enjoy showing up for every single day. What sets this team apart from other teams you've been around? I think the brotherhood that you have in Christ is, is a separator for sure. The place that I played um, didn't have that per se. We had a lot of really good dudes, but I think the, the faith was not like it is here. And I think having that common ground along with having the common goal of winning just strengthens that bond as a brotherhood. If you were to leave a collegiate athlete with a piece of advice, what advice would that be? I would say leave nothing to where you would regret that you put in more effort in, in one area. Um, just understanding now and looking back like, whoa, that took so much work and so much effort daily and um, everyone talks about the grind and and then they post a picture of the weight room that they had to go to mandatory like that's not, that's not the grind you know like the grind is putting in the extra hours that that go unnoticed that people don't see this is a great quote that I love um, so I, I mentioned I was hurt all the time in college and I, I had this thing with my with my coach that I would go on where I would show up to practice and he'd be like hey plus or minus 20 percent and it was like how hurt I was, it, and we started it at 60, so it was either 40 or 80, with 80, <laughs> that was like the best day ever, but it was more like 60s and 40s. Um, and he was like, okay, just give me 100% of whatever you have. And I think that's great for kids to know, just whatever you have that day, because it, it's a long season, it's a long year, it's long training periods, and I think just being able to give 100% of whatever you have that day in that moment, just be where your feet are, it would be like the best piece of advice that I could give myself however long ago that was that I was a freshman. What is one thing you hope your guys will take away from playing baseball at CCU? I think the biggest thing is to know who they are as a person and to know where they're going. There's a lot of things that we could get wrapped up in through a full season, but baseball ends for everybody at some point and there's a time where you get off the bus for the last time and that's it and then it's over. But to know who you are and to be able to develop yourself and grow yourself, you have that chance every day. And to know who you are when you come out of here and, and have a plan on where you're going and having hope in Christ, I think that's probably my biggest goal is to be sturdy in that foundation and then just continue to develop that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have anywhere to go, so if you have more questions that you want to know.